Hi, and welcome to yoga. Thanks for practicing with me today. I'm Joanne. Let's get started in a comfortable seat. So you might sit up on a proper blanket if you have one um, to elevate your hips. You could use a pillow too. Anything you've got handy. And then we'll lift the flesh from our sitting bones so we can ground there, whatever you're sitting on. And we want to find some length through the spine. So we want to lift up through the core a little bit, engage that, bring those shoulders up by the ears and then squeeze them behind the back and drop them away from the ears. But keep that spine nice and tall. Shoulders down back. Retract your chin just slightly so you elongate through the back of your neck. Allow the eyes to gently close. And part your lips just slightly to relax through the jaw. And taking this time at the beginning of your practice to maybe set an intention or dedication for your practice. Repeating that intention to yourself three times. Bringing awareness to the breath, noticing any sensations in the body. And begin to bring some depth to the breath. So we'll inhale completely through the nose, expand the belly as you inhale. And exhale through the nose. As you gently squeeze the navel towards the spine at the bottom of your exhale. So connecting to a feeling of expansion and space with every inhale that you take. With every exhale, just soften and let go of tension. Keeping that spaciousness in the body, but just soften around it. So let go of any tension in the body. Any thoughts in the mind that you don't need. Just keep letting go. Breathe in nice and deep together all the way to the top of the lungs. And exhale as you bow the chin to the chest. Take a moment to honor yourself for coming to practice today. And allow whatever arises today to be present. Just being in your practice, being in your body. Not forcing anything. And of course, if anything is painful, don't do it. And take a break anytime you need one. So let's begin to bring some movement into the neck. So rock one ear to the shoulder, one side, bow the chin forward as you exhale and inhale to the other side. Nice, easy movement. 
using the breath to guide you. A couple more times. chin to the chest again and we're going to inhale as we take our head upright check your posture sit up nice and tall drop the shoulders retract your chin slightly and then we're just going to look left to right so look over one shoulder up to center and slowly look to the other side so allowing a little side to side try to keep the chin sort of parallel to the floor crown of the head still nice and long Chin back just a little. So you're getting into the side of the neck a little bit more. Good. One more time. Good. And then come back to center. Shrug your shoulders up by the ears. Let's create a little tension. And then we're going to side out through the mouth as we let go and drop the shoulders. So inhale, squeeze up, tense and tighten, tense and tighten. Exhale, good again. One more time. Inhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale, let it out. Nice. So shrug the shoulders up and down the back. And then let's inhale, take one arm up, reach all the way up, keep the shoulder soft. You're going to walk the other hand to the side and fold, stretching through the side body. Good. And inhale, come up tall, lower that arm. Inhale, other side reaches and walk over. Exhale, bend. Nice. Come up tall and release. First side again, inhale, reach. Relax the shoulder, walk over and fold. Good. And then I want you to kind of, we're going to flow here a little bit. We're going to turn the torso toward the floor. And I want you to kind of round the arm and leave with the elbow as you pull across. So you want to feel this down the whole side of the body. Pull across, sweep out as far as you can. Inhale as you come up on the other side. Use your exhale to sweep across and lean forward. Pull, inhale up. Good, exhale, reach, flow. Let your breath kind of guide you. See if you can make the movements nice and fluid with the breath. Maybe each time you feel a little more spacious opening as you move side to side. Good, come back around. Inhaling. And last time. Good, let's lift up tall and float the arms down the back or by the side. Good, and then let's take the legs out in front. And then we're gonna um, bend one leg and squeeze it in. Squeeze that leg in, flex the other foot. And then we're just gonna open this leg to the side. We're gonna inhale, stretch up tall, breathe in. And then exhale, bow over your extended leg. So the leg can be a little bit bent if you need. And if you need to relax the foot and flexing is too, too much of a stretch, you can relax the foot. But we're going to bow here for a few breaths. And I want you just to see how much you can relax into the stretch. So make sure your shoulders are soft, jaws relaxed. Good. slowly walk your hands up and then lift that knee up, kick it in and stretch the leg out. We'll switch sides. So bend the other leg, squeeze it in, extend the other foot and then open the knee out to the side, foot on the inside of your thigh, extend the leg, inhale, stretch up tall, pop in your shoulders as you fold and bow, hinging from your hip, 
and then relax the forehead down. A few breaths here. Again, the foot should be relatively straight. But relatively flexed, leg straight. You can have a little bend if you need. Allowing the breath to soften you each time you exhale into the stretch. One more breath. Good, slowly we'll walk it back. Step tall, bring that leg in and take it up. We're gonna take both soles of the feet together now. So bring the soles of the feet together and open the knees out wide. So you're in a butterfly position. And then you can grab around the feet. You could use a towel here if you want. We're just gonna stretch the inner thigh a little bit. So <clears throat> what I want you to do is try to reach your elbows to your thighs if you can. And then we're gonna push down just a little bit. So lean forward and push down on the inner thighs. And then I want you to pull the legs up into the elbows and press at the same time. Squeeze a little bit of tension here, breathe. And then just soften, relax the legs and press the elbows down a little more. Good, so we're gonna do that again. Pull up, so squeeze a little tension, a little resistance, elbows and thighs pressing into each other, breathe in. Squeeze, 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 and then relax and soften. And just bend forward a little more. Good, and then walk yourself up. Bring your legs in. And then we're gonna push our legs in and you're gonna press the thighs out. So press in and push out, squeeze, 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 create some tension, and then just release the hands and let the legs open. Good, so we're gonna do that again. Squeeze, create some tension, push out, push the hands in, push the legs out, breathe, and then release the hands and let the legs open. Good, one more time. Squeeze, resist, squeeze, and release. Good, and then we'll come back to the butterfly one more time. Press down, squeeze up just a little bit here, and then exhale, soften, and release. Good, slowly come back up, bring the knees up, and then let's roll around into tabletop on the hands and the knees. You might have your blanket for your knees handy if you need it. <laughs> gonna press the mat away from you. You might take fists if wrists are too much on your wrists to have your hands open. So again, press away, brighten your fingers on the mat as best you can and roll the inside of your elbow toward the front. Engage your core here a little bit so that you're not sagging in the belly, but engage and lift so that the back is nice and long, neck is long. And then from here, let's take some cat-cow stretches. So I want you to activate the hands and feet and keep the core a little bit tight as you move here. So we're gonna drop the belly, send the tail and crown to opposite corners as you breathe in, and then as you exhale, round up, squeeze the navel up towards the spine, really squeeze up. Inhale, open, stretch, exhale, round. Good, again. And exhale. Then one more time. And exhale. Okay, come back to a neutral position. From here, from all fours, <laughs> tuck your right toes out and under and stretch through the calf here. Make sure everything else is nice and aligned. Stacking your bones. <laughs> Good, and then lift that leg straight back. So toes point down, keep your core engaged. And then I want you to reach the opposite arm out to shake a hand, keep the toes down, engage your core so you're really pressing them out away from you, breathe in. And then we're gonna exhale and squeeze the elbow and knee together round, like we did for cat, squeeze in, pull the heel up, inhale, lengthen, stretch out. Good, exhale, round and squeeze in. And reach out. 
And one more time, squeeze, round in. And stretch out. Good, and release the hand and the knee to the floor. Feel free to shake out if you need, and we'll switch sides. Then we'll tuck the left toes under, pressing through that calf, just a nice little stretch there. While we're here, align, stack your bones, activate the core, lift that leg straight up. Toes stay pointing down, foot is flexed. Opposite arm will reach out to shake hand, keep the shoulder in the joint. Connect to your core strength here, breathe in. And then exhale, squeeze elbow and knee together. Inhale, reach, stretch long. Keep the toes down, exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, reach. Good, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Good, exhale, release back down to the mat. Take your big toes together, take your knees out wide, and then push back. You can place a blanket underneath your legs if you need. Push back here, extend the child's pose. Relax the forehead. Good, and then let's stretch off to one side. So walk your hands over, keep the hips back, and relax the head. Good, coming to your center. And switch to the other side. Walk the hands over, relax back. Good, come back to center. And then inhale, pull yourself up to tabletop again. Stack your bones. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Good, and then we're gonna get into our hip joint just a little bit more. So press them out away from you. Let's tuck the right toes out again. Stretch that calf. As you're ready, you're gonna lift that leg straight up again, toes down. And then you're gonna bend the knee so the foot faces the sky. So we've got some right angles there. And again, press them out away from you. Activate your back top foot as well, nice and firmly into the ground. And then we're gonna squeeze that knee in and you're gonna open the leg out like a fire hydrant, dog pee on a fire hydrant and around. So you're trying to make a huge circle with your leg in that hip joint without totally turning your pelvis to do it. So we're just kind of trying to get into our hip joint, that full ball and socket joint. So squeeze the knee in, Open the leg out to the side and the foot up to the sky. Good. So I don't want you to dump into the back like this. So keep the core active. Squeeze in. Good. Let's send that leg back up and reverse those circles. So you're going to open the leg out to the side, pull it all the way around in a circle and in. Kick up. Don't arch the back. Pull around and in. I know these are tough. Pull, kick up again. Keep the core active, go open to the side and back in. Good, and then release that knee. Feel free to shake out if you need. So really good just to kind of get into our hip joint. Let's switch sides. So tuck the left toes under, stretch that calf out, back your bones, make sure you're not dumping into the wrist. Lift that leg up. Toes down, bend at the knee, foot toward the sky. Engage your core. Activate the other foot into the floor firmly so you've got support on that side. Good, and then we'll squeeze in. Open the leg to the side and around. And squeeze in, open out and around. Try to keep the core nice and tight. Let's do that one more time this way. Squeeze in, open to the side, and to the sky. Good, squeeze in, kick up, reversing our circles, open out and around. Good, keep going. Couple more. Just trying to think about that long femur thigh bone in the joint 
making as big a circle as we can without moving our whole pelvis around. Good. And the leg up and down. Nice work. Let's come into child pose briefly. And then lift the hands and just rotate your wrists. Give your wrists a little rest, a little motion. Reverse your circles. Good, and then let's come back on to all fours. Good, so from here, we're gonna try another fun thing. We're gonna tuck the toes under. And if this is too much, you can skip this, no big deal. But tuck your toes under and just lift the knees off the mat about an inch and you're gonna hover and breathe. Keep the elbows a little soft, you're not locking the joint. Supporting yourself with your core here, breathe one more breath. Good, release the knees, release the feet. Walk your knees behind your hips, just a touch. Take your hands maybe a little bit wider. We're gonna hinge forward just a little bit, bend at the elbow and plant your chest, which means your hands come down to the floor. Elbows stay close. Hips are lifted here for a moment. And then we'll slide the legs down to the floor. Tops of the feet flew to the floor. My hands are right next to my chest. I'm gonna tilt my tailbone gently toward my heels and peel my heart toward the front of the mat. Lifting up in cobra here, let's lift the hands and breathe into your belly. Keep the gaze long and loose. Neck should be relaxed. Good, take one more breath. Good, and release the chin and the chest. Good, tuck your toes. We're gonna press into the mat and come up to all fours. Good, and then I'm gonna scooch up a little bit. Hands are um, right under your shoulders, knees are back just a touch. We're gonna tuck the toes again, hover the knees again, breathe. And then we'll slowly kind of peel our hips up toward downward dog. So you can bend one leg and then the other. Let's walk the dog out. So one leg bends and then the other. Working into your finger pads here as well. And then walk yourself all the way up. Nice, easy stroll to the front of your mat. You wanna measure about two fists between the feet here and bend your knees as much as you need so the hands can touch the floor. And then tuck the forehead towards your shins. Just see where you are. Good, relax everything in front from the torso through the arms, the wrists, so dangle everything. Make sure the weight is even on your feet. And then we're gonna slowly roll ourselves up from the arms hang, roll up nice and slow, tuck your tailbone, chin tucks, coming all the way to the top of your mat in mountain pose. So again, check your stance. Nice neutral pelvis. We're going to lower the arms by the side. We're going to lift the arms up by the ears and ground the shoulders. So pull the arms down. And then from here, we're going to sit in an imaginary chair. So bend your knees, keep your torso tall, and sit over your heels. Good. So sinking here, awkward S pose. You're going to inhale and lift, grow tall. And as you exhale and sink, I want you to think about the core and being nice and tall. We don't want to drop the belly forward or round forward. So we want to be here, sinking. Good, inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. It's a great way to strengthen those quads and the core at the same time. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up, exhale, sink. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swan dive. Soften the legs and fold all the way down. Forward bend. Good. Inhale, come into your flat back pose. Lengthen your spine halfway to the floor. And exhale, fold. 
Plant your hands next to your feet. Take a giant step back with the right leg. Good. Drop your back knee and uncurl the toes. You can use the cushion under your knee if you need. Make sure this knee is above the heel. This leg can come forward or back, depending on flexibility. I want you to scissor the legs toward the midline and lift up. Reach the arms up. Breathe. Nice firm footing in both feet. Breathe in. Exhale, float the hands down, frame that foot. We're going to tuck the toes, lift the knee, take your hips up, step your left foot back to meet your right, coming into your downward dog. Good, and then we're going to use our core strength to float into plank pose. Align shoulders above wrists. Good, drop your knees, your chest, and your chin. Come back down. Slide the legs out. Inhale, low cobra. Let's lift the hands for a breath or two. So keep the feet glued. Neck is long and loose. Good, release your hands next to your chest. Good, tuck your toes, push up through tabletop. You can come straight back to downward dog. Bend your knees as you gaze forward, and then you can walk, step, or hop to the front. However you move, try to move lightly on your feet. Fold over your legs and roll yourself up as you inhale. To the top of your mat, open your chest, come back to your mountain pose. Inhale, take the arms up, sink into your chair. Good, sitting over the heels, inhale, lift, exhale, sink. So you can challenge yourself or make this as easy or as hard as you want, depending on how deep you go. Inhale, lift. You can also think about having a little resistance as you move up and down. Let's take one more up and down. Sit, keep that pelvis neutral. Good, inhale, lift. And then we'll swan dive back down, forward bend. Inhale, come up halfway and exhale, fold. We'll plant the hands and take a giant step back this time with the left leg. Drop that back knee, uncurl the toes, make sure this is stacked. Squeeze toward the midline, center the feet, and inhale, lift. Shoulders stay nice and soft. Breathe. Let's take a deep breath in here. Good, float the hands down, exhale. Tuck your back toes, lift the knee, take both hips high, step the right foot back to meet the left and downward dog. Good, let's float back to our plank position. Use that core to align yourself. Nice and strong. Shoulders and hips are in the same plane. Exhale, drop the knees. As you bend at the elbows, again, think about the core as you lower down slowly. Slide into your cobra. Open the chest, let's lift the hands, keep the feet glued to the floor. One more breath here. Good, release the hands next to the chest, chin down. Tuck your toes, lift through tabletop or straight back downward dog. Good, here again, we'll bend the knees, look forward, starting with the left leg if you are doing the other side. Step it up or walk it up. Come back to forward bend. We'll roll ourselves up slowly, chin tops. Coming to the top of the mat, shrug your shoulders as you open the chest. Make sure that pelvis is neutral. Chin retracts just slightly, nice and tall in our mountain pose. Good, let's sink again into our quads, just a little bit bend at the knees. Take the arms up. Beautiful, from here, inhale. Let's lift up, 
Straighten the legs, exhale, sink. Keep the arms reaching, keep the shoulders relaxed. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Good. One more after this, sink. Good, and last time, inhale up. Exhale, sink. Good, and then inhale, lift. Let's swan dive, come back down, fold over the legs. Halfway lift on your inhale. And on your exhale, fold. Good, giant step back with the right leg again. Lower the um, hips down here. So you're gonna try, you're gonna soften that back knee a little bit. And then you're gonna try to come up into a high lunge as I fall over. So keep the hips square, bend that back knee, and then lift up out of the torso. So you're really using this quad muscle here, nice and firm on the foot. Send the arms up. Good, and then maybe you have room to straighten the leg, but I want you to keep your hips your pelvis neutral. So we're stretching this quad, I mean, I'm sorry, this hip flexor again. So you might not be able to straighten the leg, that's okay. From here, breathe in, and then slowly open that back foot down as you pivot and open the arms out for warrior two stance. And then check your alignment. So that was a lot of work, I know. So it's okay if you had to transition a different way, just fun to try that. Send the arms out east-west. And then I'm grounding this back foot firmly into the ground, front foot firm, opening through the hip here. Arms are long, gaze to the front. Nice soft shoulders as the fingers extend. Good, from here, we're gonna take our forearm to the front quad. So I want you not to lean on the leg, but use the arm to press the leg away and take the top arm over the ear, palm toward the floor. Keep your hips down. So try not to let your hips up here, hips stay down. And then we're creating a long line of energy from fingers to the outer edge of that foot. And we're not leaning here, we're just using that strength to keep our torso nice and open and our neck nice and long. So you can look down or you can look to the side or to the sky, anywhere you like. One more breath here. Good, take that top arm and take a big circle, open it out as wide as you can, all the way around, big circle. Turn the torso over the front leg, release the hands to the floor, frame the foot, turn the back heel up. And then lift the hips as you step it back for downward dog, pedal the feet. Nice work. So let's come into plank, float it up. Good, and on your exhale, drop the knees, the chest, and the chin. Slide into your cobra, open the chest. Lift the hands, take another breath or two. Beautiful, release the hands, bring the chin down, tuck your toes. Coming through tabletop, we're right back to your downward dog. Soften those knees and gaze forward. And again, make your way to the front of the mat, nice and mindfully. So walking or stepping, whatever works for you. Roll yourself up, nice and slow, chin tuck, back to the top of the mat. Mountain pose. We'll bend those knees. Add the arms. Connect to your breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sit. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink. Good. Twice more. Keep the pelvis neutral. One more time up. And down and lift. Soften the knees, swan dive, forward bend. 
Inhale, halfway. And exhale, bow. Plant those hands. We'll take a giant step back with our left leg this time. So again, make sure this knee is directly above your heel. So stack that bone so that's nice and firm. Your foot is rooted. And then you're gonna <clears throat> soften that back knee a little bit so you can power up to the front leg and lift the arms up. So we're balancing here a little bit. Our core is nice and neutral. We're, we're engaging and our tailbone is neutral. So this back hip flexor is getting a good stretch here. If you feel comfortable, you might straighten through the back leg if you've got the flexibility in that flex hip flexor. And if you don't, that's okay. Keep the leg soft. Breathe. We'll try that kind of fun transition. Breathe in. Slowly pivot the back foot down as you open the arms out to your warrior two stance. Turn around. And then you can adjust if you need to take a wider stance, whatever works for you. So this hip opens toward the knee, arms extend, shoulders are soft. Sinking only as deep as you feel comfortable, back foot is firmly rooted, gaze to the front. Good, so my hips are, I'm not like one side's not lifted, I'm nice and even, but this hip is opening. Good. We'll slowly transition to side angle. So forearm comes to the thigh. And again, you're not leaning here, dropping the head. You're pressing the arm into the leg and keeping lots of space here. Top arm comes over the ear. Nice long line of energy. Keep the hips low. Gaze can be wherever you like. Make sure the head is supported by the neck. Good, let's take one more breath here. We're gonna take that top arm all the way around in a big circle behind you, big, big circle. Reach out and then turn the torso to frame the front foot, frame the hands or drop the hands to frame the foot, turn the back heel up, lift both hips and step back to downward dog. Slowly take your time, pedal your feet. Make your way to plank position, float up. Good, exhale, drop your knees, your chest, and your chin. Let the legs slide out, inhale for your cobra. Feet are glued. Maybe you're feeling a little stronger, a little more lift. Good, releasing the hands next to your chest, chin down, tuck the toes. Come make your tabletop or straight back downward dog. Here we are. Good. From here, let's take one leg high in the sky. And we're just going to move right into pigeon. So keep your shoulders even, three legged dog. We're going to bend the knee, feel the glute, keep the core a little active, keep the tailbone a little tucked. And then we'll try a little fun thing. We're gonna inhale, squeeze the nose and knee together as we hover around, kind of like we did in the beginning from the tabletop. Exhale, release that leg out. Good, if this is too much, you can skip it. Squeeze, bend the knee, squeeze the leg to meet the opposite elbow, hover here. Ah! Good, send it out. Nice work. Let's try. Same knee, same elbow, same side, hover. Good, send it out. Nice work. If you're still with me, let's come all the way up, bring the knee between, again, hover, and plant the leg right between your hands for pigeon. So we'll send the back leg back, straight behind you. Come onto your fingertips, and inhale deeply into your lungs here with the chest nice and open, shoulders back. Deep breath in, and then exhale, walk your hands down. You can stay here, you can come to forearms. You could stack this. Hands all the way down, lots of options. If you need support under your hip, you can take a cushion or hold it up, towel or blanket and place it underneath. 
for a little more support if this is too deep of a stretch. And if it bothers your knee, you're going to want to take figure four on the back instead of the pigeon. So listen to your body. And then figure four on the back. I'll show real quick. Let's just create a four, push through the hole. Same stretch on the back without hurting the knee. If you have tender knee joints, that's an option. So super important to listen, especially to your knees. <laughs> if they're sensitive, funny hinge joints, we don't want to, we don't want to compromise them a little bit. So if you're not sure and you feel like, mm, then take figure four on the back. Good. Keep breathing into that hip. Keep softening and letting go. Make sure your jaw is relaxed and your face is also relaxed as you're in this pose. If you find you're clenching or holding, you might need a little more support. Or you might want to come out of the posture a little bit by coming out of the arms. But we want to make sure we can relax. Let's take one more breath cycle. Good. And nice and slowly, you're going to slowly come out by walking your hands back. We'll frame that knee. We're going to come out of fingertips again and open the chest. Look up toward the sky. Deep breath here into your lungs. Good. Plant those hands. Slowly tuck the back toes and slowly come back to your downward dog. Pedal the feet out. If you need a break, you can take one. And if you're ready, we'll try right into the other side. <clears throat> so starting in your downward dog, try to keep the shoulders even. We'll take the other leg up. Now left leg up. You started with the right. Good, bend the knee. Again, keep the toe on a little tuck so you're not dumping into your back. So a little integrity in the core here as well. And then we'll really use the core as we inhale, squeeze nose and knee together, hover. Exhale as you send that leg out. Good, try twisting. Left knee to right elbow, hover. And send the leg out. Good, slowly squeeze left knee, left elbow. Again, if this is too much, do not worry about it. Exhale out. Last time through the middle, squeeze it up. And then we'll pull the leg through for pigeon or figure four on this side, depending on your knee over here. Before we come down, inhale, open the chest, deep breath here. Good, and slowly come down, exhale to whatever level was, is comfortable for you on this side. So again, you might use your support. You might not come down as far. I want you to soften the jaw and the face. Keep the breath moving. Shoulders relaxed. Couple more breaths on the side. Good, nice and slowly walk your hands back. Bring that knee, open the chest here, deep breath in. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, and slowly step it back for downward dog. Pedal your feet out. Good. And then let's drop to the knees. Bring the knees down. Take your big toes together. Open your knees out a little bit wide, and then push back into a child pose.
Good. We're going to slowly come up onto all fours and we're going to turn around and sit on our bones. And then we're going to come all the way down to the floor on our back. So you can stretch the legs out, maybe use the core hands on the thighs to slowly lower down, heels stay glued. Lower down nice and slow, all the way to the back. And then bend your knees to place your feet on the floor. Good, and then from here, I want you to make sure your neck is neutral on the floor. So if it's not, you might need a little prop behind your head. Um, and then from here, <clears throat> I want you to feel your hip points, um, the hip bones in the front here, kind of see where they are in space. And then I want you to press your low back down and squeeze <clears throat> the abdomen. So squeeze the belly navel towards the spine. So you're kind of tucking your tailbone a little bit <clears throat> and pressing the low back down to really engage those muscles in the core here. So release that. And then again, squeeze and press. Soften and then squeeze. Good, and then from here, I want you to take your hands behind your head, interlace your fingers behind your head. Thumbs come to the nape of the neck. You're just gonna give yourself a little neck massage. So there's like a lot of depressions in the back of the neck where the head and the neck meet. So these are great allergy points, great head neck tension points. So just kind of get in there with your thumb a little bit, give yourself a little massage on one side and then switch to the other side. Just a little self-massage. Good, and then bring your head back to neutral. So my elbows are nice and wide and on the floor. If that's comfortable for you, if you have any shoulder issues, this might not work. You could um, take your arm out of the equation if you need to. So we're gonna, again, Ground that lower back into the floor. So press the low back down and then lift the knees. So your knees are above your hips. And then I want you to squeeze the navel toward the spine. So you're kind of tucking your tailbone and pressing the low back into the floor to engage those muscles. Good, and then you're gonna lift your head and neck, keep your elbows wide and lift straight up. <clears throat> And I want you to feel those core muscles working super strongly. And then we'll just kind of do a little um, bicycle here. So we're gonna bring one elbow toward one knee cross, send the other leg out, squeeze in. Good, as you come back to center, the knee comes in. We're still lifted and then switch the cross, elbow to knee together, come back. And keep the low back down and keep the heart lifted. Keep your elbows wide. Exhale, switch. Back to center. Keep breathing. And back to center. So it's almost easier to do this quickly, right? Because then you get momentum going. So let's try it slow. So squeeze one leg, elbow to knee, come back to center. Keep lifted. Lower back's pressing down and switch sides. Inhale through center, exhale, switch. Inhale, and exhale. You need a break any time, of course, take one. Back to center, press the little back down, switch. Inhale, center, just a couple more here, switch. Good, inhale. Feeling a little burn. Back to center. Yep. And switch. Good. Back to center. Let's lift up a little higher. Press the back down. Good. Lower the shoulders and head. Release the feet. Deep breath in and out. Nice work. And then stretch the abdomen the other way. So bring the heels near your glutes, feet should be parallel hip width apart. 
walk your hands down next to your feet, toward your feet. Make sure the neck is neutral here. Palms press into the floor, feet firmly rooted. And then inhale as you peel your back up, draw the knees toward the front of your mat and lift. Deep belly breath. Slowly lower down. Good. You walk your hands a little further. And in this, when we do this bridge posture, it's real important that the chin and chest stay nice and a neutral distance apart. So you want like an orange under your chin. And we don't want to lift the head. And we don't want to tuck the chin too much. So we're going to inhale, peel up. So the head stays neutral. Maybe you roll the shoulders under a little more this time, but notice my chin doesn't move. And then my chest is coming toward my chin. I'm not tucking. So the back of the head is on the mat. Feet are firmly rooted, knees are parallel. Take a deep breath into your belly at the top here. Stretching the abdomen and slowly lower down as you exhale, tuck the tailbone. Nice work. And then let's draw the knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. And just make some circles on your back. Go in both directions. Good, squeezing in. And then let's take, if you can reach the toes, grab your big toe with your two fingers or your ankles or even your thighs. We're gonna come into happy baby. So we want the knees wide and deeply bent. My legs are bent, knees are wide. And my feet are facing the ceiling. The feet are flexed. So whatever you're holding doesn't really matter. I want you to pull down toward the floor and resist with the feet a little bit. Get into those hips a little bit more. So my tailbone is grounded. My shoulders and head are relaxed. So you might just hold your thighs, that's fine whatever is accessible. And then a little resistance again, create that resistance. And then relax, soften, maybe a little deeper stretch. One more breath here, create some resistance. And soften, relax. Good, releasing the leg back down to the floor. And you might have the knees bent, and the feet wide, let the knees fall to the center. If you feel good in the back, you can stretch the legs all the way out. Wherever you are, you're gonna let the palms face the ceiling, tuck the shoulders under the chest to open the heart. Make sure the neck is neutral. Gently rock your head a little side to side. Releasing any tension in the neck. Good, let's take a nice deep breath in and we're gonna side out through the mouth with lion's breath, deep breath in. Exhale, <sighs> open the mouth, send the tongue out, eyes wide. Good, and then just allow the whole face to relax. Allow the whole body to relax. Noticing any pulsations of the body as you relax. Noticing the temperature of the room that you're in, the air around your skin. Notice if you have any residual tension anywhere in the body. If you do, surround that tension with your breath as you inhale. Just let it melt away from the body as you exhale. Let it go. Relax. Relax. Relax.
very gently begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe rock the head a little side to side. And as you're ready, you slowly make your way to the right side of your body. Come to a fetal position for a moment. And notice any changes between now and the beginning of practice. Recalling any intention or dedication you may have set for yourself. And as you're ready, you're going to use your left hand to slowly push yourself back up to a comfortable seat. So sitting on your prop if you need. And let's inhale and sweep the arms up together. Take a deep breath in as you gather some energy. And seal your hands at the top. We'll lower them down to our heart. Bow to yourself with gratitude for practicing today. And we'll bow to each other. Namaste.